Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. Paradox. I was thinking about just starting as a Paradox character today, but you know what? I'm glad that we randomly rolled it because it gives me an excuse, a perfectly valid excuse for saying, you know what? I just want to play as a Paradox. I want to get some random garbage items and then have to make a run work with it. We get Flare Gun and Heavy Boots. This seems awesome. I love the Flare Gun. I think it's a, I think I undervalue it, which is kind of why I like having it here. It's a decent gun. It burns enemies, it'll kill them. I like getting uh, heavy boots because it's just a, a small potential enabler of many good synergies and just it's nice to not be affected by knockback. Although you still get affected by knockback from explosions, just not from alien engine, I guess. That's the only thing that heavy boots are good for, minus the shotgun synergies. So hopefully we'll get a shotgun, or two, or three, and then we'll have some good synergies, ideally. Also, starting weapon, budget revolver, AKA convict. Good enough. No, get away from the money. By the way, there's a Winchester game. There's a Winchester game, and it's also on the map, which means that I won't forget about it. <laughs> That's the big problem with me and Winchester's game, is when they're not on the map, I forget. Hey, Elio Camadante. Thank you for the follow. Hello, welcome. How are you doing? And hello, Sanfu and uh, definitely not Brazilian and Joni Act for stopping by after I had uh, already started the episode or the uh, the run here. Hello, welcome. Glad to see all the regulars in chat and the new faces as well. I like it when people are excited for Gungeon, because I'm excited for Gungeon. Gungeon's a fun game. It really is. I, I Oh, you son of a gun. I didn't think he was going to shoot. Which is a, a dumb thing to think, because the room had been active for like 10 seconds by the time that guy shot. Of course, when I round the corner, he's going to take a shot at me, you know. His engagement time had already elapsed. This is dumb on my part. In the back of my head, though, it's like... Oh, I'm sure I can walk around him before he actually ends up shooting his gun. No, it's not how that works. No. Oh. The word asks is he's a regular. I think you're a regular by now. It's a dumb way of doing it, but I'll take it. Yo, little bomber. That's a really good synergy to have. Bomber pal. I think it makes it fire off two bombs every time we shoot. That seems really good. Hey, Grey Goob. Thank you for the sub, for six months. And hello and welcome if you are uh, in fact in chat. Uh, but yeah, this is really good. Getting double bombs is wonderful. I, I wonder if both bombs synergize with things like uh, King Bomber, but for now it's just like, it's a wonderful starting weapon to have. We don't have to use it on room clearing, you know, we can use Flare Gun for a little while longer, but Having explosives, dude, I'm gonna use that against the boss, probably regardless of what the boss is. If it's Bullet King, if it's Trigger Twins, I think a... Okay, yes, I was dumb, now that I think about it. <laughs> I'm gonna probably just use this gun for what, uh, whatever the boss is. All right, gotta remember, hey, Abe, you freaking idiot, you got the bomb? You know what that means, right? Yes, it means you have a bomb that you can use for uh, explosions whenever you feel the need, just hit spacebar. But also, hey, Abe, you idiot. Secret rooms. Accessed for free. You don't have to use a blank on it. Could have saved the blank in this uh, secret room down here, right? Yeah, yeah, you think? I'm never <laughs> gonna remember that. I don't know why my brain is just fundamentally incapable of remembering, hey, you have free secret rooms. Oh my God. Ah, it's just... At least I'm aware of my own mistakes, but good God. If only I could be aware of them before I made the mistake to begin with. All right, so there's one. There's two. Now three and four should just be shooting it up the holes we just created. Gonna wait for the right timing on this. Still not the right timing. I probably just need to shoot on its uh, way back. Yeah. 
Okay, I got a question. You see these freaking uh, black pluses in the game? What are these? What 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 is the point of these? What do these actually indicate? Was it like the, my aim when I took those shots? Maybe that's what it is, because I think I remember shooting about here and about here. So maybe it is actually the aim when I pulled the trigger for each time using this gun. Is that what that is? Because it's taken me a long time to figure it out if that's what that actually is. Because I, I do remember being like, what are these freaking black pluses everywhere on Winchester's game? I don't understand it. That's got to be what it is. And they're still there. Now, is there a fourth one up there now? Yes, there is, right there. That's So that's what it is. My god. I've only just now realized that. Can I post the video how to mod Gungeon? I will do that, Rib Ribiter. I'll, uh, just <laughs> remind me, like, on Discord or something, and I'll do it. Because I have it ready to go, I just keep forgetting about it. Um, okay, so we have Shovel Gun. Every time we reload, we get a free item, or we get a free chance at item or money or something. I know that, I, or I, at least I hear that they nerfed the shovel. That it used to give you uh, significantly more payouts, but it's been nerfed so that now you only get good payouts uh, relatively infrequently. So I don't know if I'm gonna like spend a lot of time, you know, reloading when I have uh, an ammo drop on the ground, like just kind of burning through the ammo in this gun. I could give it a give it a try once, but if we don't get anything good, I'm probably not gonna do it again. Because I mean, even if it, you know, oh, theoretically it's worthwhile because you can just, uh, you know, farm the, uh, the extra money you get out of it before you pick up the ammo. I'm not gonna do that, okay? You know. I got things to do, except that's a lie. I obviously don't, but you know, if I did. Hello? Just in case. If I did, I wouldn't uh, waste your time watching me just kind of burn through ammo. All right, so that's unfortunate that we picked up the med kit. Synergize it with the flare gun. Faster reloading? Yeah, faster reloading. Um, I don't care. I actually, I think, like the synergy with the bomb a little bit better. I might also, uh, you know, constantly remind myself that I have this active and that I can actually open up secret rooms for free. Uh, I think we are going to go down to the Oubliette, so let's go find that access point, which is... it's in here, isn't it? It is. But where's the water barrel? Hold up. I don't think it broke, I think it was just not in the room. I guess it's just out here. Sometimes the water sometimes the water barrel does spawn outside the room. I don't really know why it doesn't spawn inside the room, but sometimes you have to go out to get it. How much money would you have to give me for me to play Fortnite? Uh, give me $100 and I'll play Fortnite. Per hour, of course. He's rocket. 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 I don't really like Rocket Gun. I think that uh, standard lowercase r is better, but until we get a lowercase r synergy that's not Rocket, we'll just use the Rocket for a little while. Okay. You never notice those little black pluses down Hades? I've noticed them in the past, but I've never been able to actually figure out what specifically they were. It's like, where did this black plus come from? And sometimes it's like, it's not where the bullet landed, but no, it is actually where your cursor is in Winchester's game. I don't know why I never figured that out before. I wonder, does that occur on Switch and consoles, or is it only on uh, PC? Like, what would happen if I used a controller? Would that appear like that? Hmm. I don't know. Very interesting. Okay. Dude, I gotta say. Bomb gun? Little bomber? I mean, I, I enjoy Little Bomber uh, anyways. You know, I, I tend to use this item whenever I get it because it's it's a fun room clearer to use. Sometimes it has good synergies and the damage output is decent, but having two bombs, being able to kill a Chance Pilon in one shot, 
it's really good damage output. I mean, it's as far as I know, it's basically double damage with the bomb item synergy, right? All right. I did not expect that to happen. What did, did the ex, did the barrel explode? I dodged into it though. I mean, I th here's the thing. Explosive barrels, when you have a gun being charged and you walk into the barrel, it will explode, but I dodge rolled into it, but it still exploded and dealt damage to me. That's why I was a little bit confused there. It's like, wait a minute, how did that happen? Whatever, I, uh, I trust the game to a small extent. You know, I wouldn't tr trust it with my, my life. I wouldn't trust it with my wife. <laughs> but, uh, you know what? Sure. If you say I took damage there, I took damage there. Look at that dodge. There's a synergy with the shovel that gives it better drops and you think it can give the orange. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe on the next floor we'll uh, pull out the shovel and we'll start digging. Or maybe we'll start digging on the mines. You know, because if I'm gonna dig anywhere in Gungeon, it's not gonna be in the Gungeon proper. It's gonna be deep in the mines, you know? We need to dig too deep and too greedily. <laughs> that should be a synergy. Uh, shovel gun plus the third chamber flawless. The dig too deep, too greedily synergy. And uh, I don't know, if you reload shovel gun with zero ammo in shovel gun, it does something special, I don't know. It spawns a secret boss. Deep in the mines of Gungeon. Where, 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 did, where is the Gungeon? I know it's on like a planet somewhere in the hegemony of man, but it's like controlled systems. It's a prison planet, or I, I guess the Gungeon is a prison, but where is the Gungeon itself? You know, what's the name of the planet, or is it just like, I mean, I guess they know about the planet, because, you know, they have the Gungeon on it. Is there any information about that? See, that barrel, I rolled into it, and it didn't explode. I don't get it. Gungeon, I mean, it's not gonna be like Gungeon-topia or anything like that, Gungeon-tropolis. I don't know, he's a rocket. Rocket! Rocket! Also, I gotta start using the bomb more often. I say this every time I get the bomb, but it does a lot more damage than you would expect. I'm pretty sure it does more damage than a single, uh, a single little bomber shop. I don't know. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Okay. <clears throat> Sanfu says his mouse is broken. Playing FTL is going to be painful as hell now. How do you, <laughs> how would you play FTL with your mouse being broken anyways? Boom! Nice. Actually hate the mix of enemies here. Okay, really hate this. I don't know why so many uh, enemies are still alive. Normally the uh, mutant shotgunners, they only spawn after you kill five of the standard bulletkins, but this time they actually spawned in when there were like three bulletkins and two of the uh, BDs alive. That seemed very strange. You know, it's uh, it actually is a little bit unusual. Rocket. Orange med kit, iron coin, and meat bun. Hello? Can be dug up with the shovel. Okay, with the synergy. I Maybe mean, digging up an orange at random would be really good. Iron coin, not so much. Med kit, I mean, basically, if you needed the HP. And you're not the robot. Meat bun is a strange one. Because I wouldn't, you wouldn't think you would dig up a meat bun. You would find that in a storefront, you know? Like, maybe the synergy could be uh, if you uh, dig when you're in the shop, you have a chance of getting the meat bun. And he's like, oh, I dropped that. Give it back. No, I'm eating it. Just to dig up a straight meat bun? Meat buns stack? Yes, they do. It's extremely rare to get more than one. But if you could, I, I think you would enjoy it. 
for as long as that double damage or, you know, times two times two times two damage lasted. Don't reload. Never manually reload the shovel. I'm inquired, hello, welcome. I'm glad you could stop by as well. Oh, not quite enough. <laughs> you have shotgun full of love. Icebreaker, Little Bomber, or Gunny, Pea Shooter, Blooper, Tangler, M1, Pox Cannon, Tentacle, Chamber Gun, Rubidine Mark II, Jolter, Regular Shotgun, Science Cannon, Javelin, and Chakra Rifle. Which ones would you duct tape? Ah, you're giving me a duct tape question, huh? I'll try it. No. Um. And I think I already checked all the walls. No, I didn't check all the walls. Let's check at least the walls in the uh, treasure rooms. The gun's pretty good, and I'll just pop a blank here because I don't know where the secret room, secret room is. I don't remember seeing it. Yes, we have little bomber, but we've already fought the boss, and everything's done with on the floor. Poison vial, we don't care about. I guess I will open up the blue chest over here, and then we'll leave because this is going to be a passive active. It's an active item, which I don't want, but I want to keep the bomb. But it, uh, yeah, I mean that's basically worst case scenario. I didn't want an active item there. So what would what would you what would you duct tape, huh? You don't have anything you know truly outstanding in that list of guns, but uh... so yeah, I mean I guess I don't know. You have nothing that is really kind of just absolutely outstanding in that list I listed off. You know, oh I'm out of ammo. That's why. It's like, I should just use a uh, little bomber. Why am I not using a little bomber? I'm using rocket gun. Oh, right. Run out of ammo. I mean, I know rocket is a lowercase r synergy, but I still wish it was better. <laughs> it takes a million years to reload. The rocket, yes, it can kill uh, standard bulletkins, but little bomber right now can kill the other enemies as well. Gotcha. Save, hello, welcome. How's it going? It is going just fine. Should you duct tape two shotguns considering that you have the scope? Duct tape whatever you want. I didn't see anything truly outstanding in that, uh, that combination. Two shotguns, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Two shotguns will just make you uh, a super shotgun. I think that with two shotguns, I'd be a little bit wary about duct taping um, particular shotguns together. You know, like a, a Void Core shotgun doesn't have a lot of range on it. So yes, while you could duct tape it to make a super shotgun, maybe that's not the, what you would want to do. You know, if you want to have a shotgun full of love, uh, Void Core shotgun, you might not have a lot of range for bosses, but you didn't say you had the Void Core. You said you had a regular shotgun, so I imagine that you're actually going to be a little bit better off. Bellows like pounding on the walls. Shut up! I'm trying to run a business over here. What's with all that racket? Doom, 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 doom. Sorry. Just taking out the trash. <laughs> Ice bomb. So I mean, that's the same synergy with little bomber, right? No, super bomber, pal. And this one is bomber, pal. Uh, you, you know what? I'm gonna look it up, because I don't know what the difference is between the two. I think one of them just fires explosive uh, bombs, but we'll see. Uh, charges twice as fast, has a 40% lower reload time on Bomber Pal. Super Bomber Pal has a 20% lower reload time. Okay. So, I guess we get to choose if we want ice bombs being fired or regular bombs. I don't know. I, I could try ice bomb. We, I mean, we have the uh, little bomber for secret room access. We don't need the bomb for that. And I, I guess we can give this a shot. Why not? Why not? 
It's a very, very strange uh, situation, but I think this is okay. Oh, we lose the lowercase r synergy. So should we, yeah, okay. So I guess we're gonna take the regular bomb because this also gives us the r synergy. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. A lot of consideration here. I, I do wanna try out the, uh, get out of here. Do wanna try out the, uh, the ice bombs, but if we if we lose a synergy with lowercase r, I think that's probably not what we want. Now, having said that, I think I'm gonna do it anyways, because I just thought of something, and what I just thought of was, hey, if we get a synergy with lowercase r, we're gonna wanna drop the bomb anyways, because we're not going to want the uppercase R, we're not going to want the explosives, we're going to want a lowercase R that fires words, because that ends up doing more damage than the rocket, I think. The rocket just, it doesn't seem to do that much damage, it has a, a very slow reload time. So why don't we try the ice bombs? Why not? We'll give the ice bombs a shot. And if we get a lowercase R, we can have, you know, werewolf, die, 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 or something like that. Booyah, gotcha! <laughs> Uppercase R sucks, says Sanfu. I think it's... Okay, but later in the game it's gonna quickly uh, become a little bit too inefficient. You know, as soon as an enemy... Yeah, I mean... As soon as an enemy doesn't die in one Uppercase R shot, we're never gonna want to use that again. You know, as soon as the bullet, these bullet can survive one uppercase R, it's gonna be, oh, well, can't use this anymore. You know, Little Bomber, that's gonna scale a little bit better because it actually does get the, uh, the benefit of firing multiple explosions. You know, that's gonna be a little bit more uh, viable for longer. Because I don't think there is a, like, I don't know if uppercase R overrides lowercase R. I don't know if there's a preference for one or the other in the game. I don't know if uh, if there's a way to switch between the two. I highly doubt it. You know, I don't think this, this doesn't seem like one of those situations when you can, like, reload at full ammo and swap forms. So yeah, let's go with the ice bomb instead. I'm actually kind of glad there's no secret room there, because I do need to get an ammo drop before I can actually access a secret room for free without using a blank. We might have to fight the boss and just use remaining blanks for a secret room, which I'm perfectly okay with doing. I can't believe you lived, but you did get hit by one explosion, bounce into another explosion, and then die, so can't complain. <laughs> there's the old crest drop off, I wish we still had it. If you see Colt, 45 take it. Ice Bomb got buffed, more damage you think. You've heard that it was buffed at least. The Ice Bomb, Ice Bomb is, is uh, to me it's not about damage. Ice Bomb to me is about protection. It freezes enemies. Bad, 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 bad dodge roll. You know, if you use the Ice Bomb, you should not use the Ice Bomb to try and kill enemies. You should use it to freeze them. And I think it does a pretty good job at freezing. Its damage is, is also just, you know, decent. Nothing I can do about that one. You son of a gun, you fucking snake. Snake bastard. I'd rather not use a uh, semi-auto gun like the Void Marshal. Ah, I got hit twice. Having the tap shoot is a little annoying, but he's almost dead. I should have probably just used the shovel gun. The thing is, I didn't want to use shovel gun because of the uh, relatively low range of it. Hey, What did I say? Die, werewolf, die! Werewolf, die. <laughs> Who fucking called it? That's right, I did. Uh, yeah, the range on shovel gun is a little bit low, so I didn't really want to use it and get kind of caught out away from the boss. But maybe, maybe I should have done it, because... Tap, 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 shooting, it was kind of annoying. You know what, we should have probably used Hexagon. Maybe that would have been better. 
Da 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 Alright, we get junk. I guess we're done. We have no keys to spend. There's no, uh, nothing special going on with the floor. We'll just pop a blank at random and get the hell out of here. What are we gonna use for the next floor? I mean, we could try a trash can and... Ugh. Colt is a synergy with the shovel. All right. If I, yeah, if I, if I miss a... If I miss a message, it's fine. How does the trash cannon synergy work? I'm pretty sure that trash cannon synergy just gives the trash cannon more damage, and that's all it is. Wow, I'm in the minecart getting poisoned. So it'll do a little bit more damage on the main projectile shot, which doesn't seem that good, but I mean, something. All right, well, this is a horrible time to be alive. Big problem with it, of course, is just that when you, uh, when you accidentally poison yourself, you're like, crap. <laughs> I don't think Trash Cannon is that good. I think Trash Cannon is pretty bad, actually. It's one of those guns that makes me wish that I just had the plunger, really. Oh, good. So we're not gonna use it, we're gonna use the little Bomber Pal. Which does fire ice explosions, ice uh, bombs. I don't know if these actually apply freezing. I would kind of hope that they, they would, but the problem is I would have to like find a tanky enemy in order to shoot him in order to see if he explodes with the frost effect. I think it's just actually like a purely visual thing because I, I don't really notice enemies, wrong gun to take the ammo for. I don't really notice the enemies turning blue. Sometimes it feels like they might, but maybe that's, maybe it's contact damage only that does it. Maybe the explosion doesn't actually trigger any, uh, any freezing at all? I don't know. We'll figure it out. That's what. That's that's honestly one reason why I looked it up because I wanted to see. Oh, would the wiki actually tell me if the? Uh, yeah, die. Would the wiki actually tell me if the bombs shot were frost bombs or not? And it it didn't, as far as I can tell. It just said it shot bombs. But you see, that guy, he had a weird animation, which is normally indicative of him being slightly frozen. I don't know. I don't know. Isn't there a second debuff called chilled, or is that just freezing? There's, so, um, it's the same thing, basically. Being frozen, um, well, I should say, Freezing and cheesing, it's a scale from basically zero to one. When you hit maximum level, you're frozen, and then it kind of has a cooldown. It wears off a little bit. It's the same effect. Or it's the same controller controlling the effect. That rat took a shot. You son of a gun. Die, werewolf, die, die, die. Should have taken in the uh, partial ammo box for that earlier, that's okay. All right. I didn't use the curse pot. Why would I use the curse pot? <laughs> if you have no curse on floor two, you always use a curse pot. I should probably get in the habit of doing that because it does make sense if you find a, uh, a black market, you can always take advantage of it, but. I've got to do it all the time. Here's the thing, we got plenty of money. You know, if we find a curse shop, we're getting in. Uh, we're especially getting in now. I don't know if I mentioned this, but there is a, a weird side effect of freezing and cheesing. If an enemy is frozen, and cheesed at the same time, when one wears off, the enemy will start moving around even though they're still frozen. <laughs> you 
You know what? Bam! Yo, I caught him in the middle of his uh, crit roll. That's that's a great time. I think I, I think I may have done it once before, like shown that off, but it's a very unusual thing. Might as well save the ammo until after the boss fight. Brown chest, green chest. Uh, I think we're just gonna go open the green chest because why not? Chance bullets is okay, at least in the mod they are. And we will use the. So let's not let's not make the same mistake. Yes, void marshal is pretty good, but I don't know my hand. I'm, I'm not clicking as fast as I normally am. Let's not use the uh, the click gun. Let's use a uh, like a hexagon instead. Something a little bit simpler for my uh, my hands to work with. So that should apply a little bit of freeze to him, not a lot. I also really do like Hexagon here because it does uh, pierce through the walls a little bit. You know what we should maybe use? Honestly, maybe uh, lowercase r? Although the damage does seem pretty low. <laughs> he shot a rocket, but the blank destroyed it and then it killed his friend. I love it. That was a trash cannon shot. Oh, we gotta be careful about that. We might accidentally poison ourselves. That would be a not good thing. No, oh, don't get caught. Okay. Use lowercase r because it triggers chance bullets a lot. I don't think we need to use it because it triggers chance bullets. I think we're fine without it. Uh, uh I mean, ring is better than drill. At least as far as chance bullets are concerned. All right. Done with the floor. Already found the secret room. Let's go pick up the ammo. Ammo, ammo. We'll, uh, we'll I'll open it. You never know if you're gonna get something good. We didn't, but we could have. We'll uh, buy honeycomb. The reason why we're buying honeycomb is that we got enough HP. We're gonna have enough money. Burst works strange with chance bullets, you think? I don't know. I don't see it acting strangely. I, I think it should work completely normally. Could have been a brown rainbow. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you never know. And we had, uh, you know, no water-based weapons, of course. There's no way we could check. There was no way. Highly unlikely. I mean, by definition, yes. Which is unfortunate. I wish they were a little bit more common, but. As I've complained about in the past about the super hard to find things in Gungeon. Yo. So we're back up at full health. <laughs> I completely forgot about antibody. Picking up all that little bit of HP actually healed us for an extra one and a half hearts. So we're gonna make a lot more money back through Vampire Lady. Seems like it's gonna be a pretty good thing. Blah. The brown rainbow chest is more likely to spawn as a room drop. That's an interesting tidbit of information, if true. I don't know. Bah, bah. Sanfu says he had a brown rainbow as a room drop a couple of days ago. I, I've i only seen one, I think, but I saw it as a room reward as a result of killing a Fusilier. If I'm, if I'm remembering correctly, that's where mine came from. Hey, Grey Goob! Well, thank you for the cheer. No message, but I appreciate it nonetheless. You thought rainbows had a third of the chance as a drop. I don't know, the wiki probably has some information on it. The wiki's probably like, if it's a room reward, it's a, you know, has a third, a point one 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 chance of spawning versus a point three 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 chance of spawning. But, I don't know. 
I, I believe the wikis, unless someone has a, any uh, any extra information. Uh, what were we using? Right, bomb gun. Could also just use lowercase r. Die, werewolf, die. Die, 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 die. Silver. You know what? Maybe we should have per or should have picked up the curse from that uh, curse pot a long, long time ago. Because if we did, we could have theoretically had jammed enemies that would have given us more money. And now that we have silver bullets, we'd be able to kill them a little bit faster. But I, I don't think we picked up silver bullets on that floor. I think it was a different floor where we had that uh, curse pot. I don't really remember. Blessed. Silver. Die, werewolf, die. Silver, die, werewolf, die. Die, werewolf, die. That's rude to werewolves. It's a slightly less than one-third chance if it's not a room reward drop. Okay, well, there you go. Die, werewolf, die. Die, werewolf, Again, as long as that information is correct. Die, werewolf, die. Silver. Did that not freeze one of those? No, he died. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's like, did one of those bulletkins not get frozen from that? Well, I mean, yes, but for a good reason. He's dead. Silver, silver. Silver, so that's a Sinner Grace chest. We should probably just do it right now, honestly. I'm not gonna worry about dropping all my items to try to force the synergy. Let's just go grab it. Let's die, werewolf, die. Just don't give me a lowercase r synergy. That that's a little unnecessary. It's a lowercase r synergy. Oh well, it's a lowercase r synergy, but it's also a passive, so I don't really mind. Let's die, werewolf, die. Let's silver, silver. I guess um, the game also. You know, for the notification, treated it as a synergy with the uh, hexagon, which is good too. I admit, oh, 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 duct tape. I admit, I also don't know how much of a chance it is of turning the enemies into chickens. Is it a higher chance, or is it a guaranteed chance, or you know what? The chicken arise synergy, that is. Because, you know, not every shot here is turning enemies into chickens, and sometimes it's not even happening necessarily that reliably. We'll see. Uh, bubble blaster, membrane, duct tape. Gotta admit, kinda happy to, to see those guns and the duct tape in the shop. I don't know what we're gonna duct tape is the problem. Like, what would happen if we duct taped Chamber Gun? Would it hold its current form? I have to think that it, it probably would, so like what if we duct taped Chamber Gun onto Hexagon and then we had like a super boss killer? It could work, in theory. Let's use Chamber Gun. I, I never use this form of Chamber Gun, is it good? It's got a long reload. Oh, you know, I remember why I never use this, because the uh, the hitbox doesn't line up correctly, or the shoot box. It's it seems correct now. Oh, now it's messed up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No, now it's correct. Hold on. No, now it is correct. I don't know. Something about the hitbox in this gun always kind of messes up messes up after a while. I guess that's probably the reason why I uh, I don't love it. It's a pretty good gun, but sometimes that little hitbox weirdness does matter, especially if you're trying to hit an enemy close to you and you miss. Like that shot, it should have definitely... It's like coming up six in inches off the top of the gun. Eh, whatever. Could still duct tape it. The duct tape might even fix the problem. You never know. <laughs> oh, I couldn't do it in time. There we go. Muting is working now. I should always check that before I start uh, the run. Will my mute button actually function correctly today? 
Mm. There we go. I think it turned that one into a chicken. Yeah, it did. I don't know. I'm not loving the rocket launcher. Like, if I had double shot with it, it'd be a lot better. But you know what has double shots? This gun! You know what gun is therefore better? This gun! Isn't the rice chicken an ATHF reference? Aquating the Hunger Force? I know that there are many uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force references in Gungeon. I didn't know that that was one. I've actually never really seen the show that much, so... You know, I've seen the... Uh, I've seen the... Uh, quad Laser, I've seen Double Vision references. No, wait. Was it Double Vision? Is Double... Is Double Vision... Um, it's somehow an ATHF Aqua Teen Hunger Force reference? I think it might be. Is it? I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Because there are there are two items in Gungeon that are Aqua Teen Hunger Force references, right? You see, now I'm just like hoping that I'm actually correct. <laughs> I don't remember at all. Quad Laser is a duck game reference? No, Qu Quad Laser is one million percent Aqua Teen Hunger Force. The gun looks the same. Mm. Let's open the chests first, because I want to see if we can get a duct tape combo. Honestly, Drum Clip's pretty good. And you know what? Charge Gun is also pretty good. I don't know if Charge Gun makes a good duct tape combo, we don't have flame hand, which would have absolutely made it a good one. Uh, I think what we actually probably want to do is duct tape chamber gun and something else. Don't have any keys remaining. Already done the Cinegrace chest. What the hell are we going to do? I mean, we have uh, Knight's gun. It's not that good, though. We have lowercase r. We could duct tape something onto lowercase r, or you know what? We could duct tape lowercase r onto something else, like Void Core. Let's do it. Why not? Not by the membrane. I, I don't know if this is actually going to work. I don't know if we're going to get the value out of the lowercase r shots. No, it's just firing the letter B over and over again, and I'm not getting the cool. Uh, a uh, uh, voiceover. We ruined it. <laughs> it's been ruined. I think. I'd have to check to see what the actual damage output of it is, but I, I feel like we did ruin it a little bit. Oh, that's poison. Thanks, Trash Cannon. B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B See now I wish I had a curse. Yeah, I mean, uh I tried. I tried an interesting combination. I mean, here's the thing, I could have duct taped Void Core onto lowercase R, but I was worried that it would break. And I was worried it would break because a lot of times when you have a conditional gun being the target gun of a duct tape, it doesn't work properly, like Polaris. If you duct tape something onto Polaris, that something doesn't fire. Which is good if you're trying to increase the ammo of the Polaris, but if you're not, if you're trying to get like a cool synergy to function, it doesn't work. So I thought I'd try it the other way, duct taping uh, lowercase r onto something else, but it didn't work, obviously. It's still a good gun, it's, it's doing a decent amount of damage, but... Could have definitely been a little bit better on that tape. Anyways, let's get the hell out of here. Link 5, hello. Looks like you were missing the stream because you're not following anymore. <gasps> Why? I never.
Hmm. Do you, do you think it's still getting the damage buff from Silver Bullets? Like the lowercase r shots, do you, do you think they're still getting like that times 2.5 damage up? Yeah, right. Because it, it seems to be doing a pretty decent amount of damage. You know, I'm just gonna say. Dink it, dink it, dink. Mm, that damage might just be the. Uh, that just might be the damage from Void Mar Void Core, though. Void Core Marshal. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Um, aren't there some guns, like burst guns, that if you duct tape something to it, they gain the effect of the burst? I vaguely remember that happening in the past as well. So maybe we could have duct taped the Void Core, or sorry, the Void Marshal onto something, and it could have gotten the burst effect. Like, what about duct taping Void Marshal onto Void Core Assault Rifle? Do you think that would make it burst? Or duct taping it onto the lowercase r, if it functions correctly, do you think it would actually gain the burst effect and it would fire like six shots immediately? Because that would be cool. That would have been a good combination. Then I could actually, you know, use the gun without tap, 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 tap as fast as I can. It would delay the onset of Carpal Tunnel for another, uh, another day. Hound of Ulster, you won't be able to mo watch much. Well, that's okay, you know what? You're here, you're saying hello. I appreciate it. Are you dead in Darkest Dungeon or will you be invincible? <laughs> uh, I can't remember who all died in my Darkest Dungeon campaign. There were a lot of deaths near the end there. <laughs> Although I will say, in my Darkest Dungeon campaign, a little bit BS that my uh, uh, Houndmaster died when he did. He went from full health to zero in one turn and died to poison. So, I mean, what, what are you going to do about that? I didn't have a chance of healing him. Uh, actually, you know what? I did have a chance of healing him, but he didn't need the heal because he was at like 90% HP with a, a Blight. And it's like, well, he'll, he'll be fine. He was not fine. You know what? Sometimes, shit just happens. You know, a guy beat the heart with no deaths. Yeah, because you can, um, I don't know if you can do it in the newest uh, versions of the game, but in the past, what you could do on the final bar boss of the Darkest Dungeon is use Plague Doctors to buff the damage of a leper, and then the leper one-shot kills the boss of the final game. <laughs> the final boss of the game gets one-shot with like a 270 damage crit. It's, a, it's an amusing video to watch because you know the guy is running the calculations in his head. He's like, okay, on this turn, I have 13 stacking buffs of the Plague Doctors, but I need 15. So, you know, he's just kind of, he's stalling and stalling and stalling, trying to get the perfect uh, amount of buffs active. And then when he does, he goes for the hit and gets the kill. Yeah, but normally, you know, spoilers, Darkest Dungeon, you are forced to sacrifice a couple of people. What I did on the mission, and what I, what I think you probably should do, is just sacrifice your uh, low damage dealers and keep the high damage dealers, because you need to kill that thing pretty quick. Hey. Am I gonna, gonna dig? Probably not, honestly, because, like, what do I care about digging? I got nothing to dig for. What do I need? I don't know what I need. What do I want to dig up? Um, a penny? C4? Some kind of horrible garbage active items? Nothing? 
Yeah, I don't need anything. Uh, so let's open up the last chest and get the hell out of here. Does anything special happen in Darkest Dungeon if you kill the final boss multiple times? Probably not. I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. Just because. I mean, I think someone would have would have found that out by now, right? You'd have to think, anyways. Darkest Dungeon, or sorry, yeah, Darkest Dungeon to me doesn't seem like a game that kind of hides secrets like that. There's, there's not a lot of like secrets or Easter eggs in that game, from what I can tell. It, yeah, it offers you a new game plus, but it's just hard mode. It's not like true final ending stuff. I also thought that in Darkest Dungeon you had to defeat all the final bosses first, but or all the uh, the regular bosses first, but I guess not. Because I did the final boss still having a couple of, uh, of tasks left. Dude, Lava Gun is so good. <laughs> Start a new Darkest Dungeon campaign? I already finished one! I need to do one. I don't need to do another one. Not right now. I'm just gonna wait for Darkest Dungeon 2 to come out. I really hope it does come out, you know, in my life at some point. Dude, I I love the sound design in Gungeon. The lava from this gun sounds so good. Like, yeah, I'm pretty sure that they didn't have, you know, somebody make the sound effect for it. They probably just use like a stock sound effect or something, but it's just like it's a perfect fit. Are there plans for Darkest Dungeon 2? It's been announced. The, the, the devs are working on it. They already have, you know, a theoretically a story because we know the setting. The setting of, from the trailer, it, the trailer didn't have any spoils except for the setting. And we, the setting is theoretically gonna be a, uh, a, um, like, cold, cold mountain or something. You know, I'm looking forward to it. We should take ammo. I don't know what to take ammo for, though. I'll take it for Lava Gun. Maybe I'll use Lava Gun for the uh, the Bullet Hell floor. I never use it for Bullet Hell. I usually just use Chain Gun or no Chamber Gun at all. Trailer. We're just talking about Darkest Dungeon. Can't wait for two to come out. Also, can't wait for. Uh, for Half Life 3 to come out. That'd be a good one. Half Life 3 confirmed! It will be an epic exclusive for a year after release! <laughs> Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me. Mm, tight corridors does not seem to be the best use for that gun. Hey. Also, wasn't this supposed to turn, um, wait a minute. Wasn't the synergy between Hexagon and, uh, Iron Gun here supposed to turn it into like a, a Hexagon shotgun? Hold up. What does this synergize with? This is synergizing with... Hexagon and Heavy Boots. Oh, uh, you know, it's probably overriding the synergy, isn't it? So if I drop Heavy Boots... No? Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it overrides the synergy. Cast Iron. That's unfortunate, because I actually do like that more than the uh, the single projectile. Because it's very low range, like it can't even go from the left side of this room to the right side of this room. You know, I'd rather have the infinite range, fast firing hexagon shots if you would not mind, please. You know, even just consider like a boss fight. You want to stand usually at a distance. Can't really do that here. 
By the way, I love that we're getting so many beams. Wait a minute. Ah, first of all, excuse me, sneeze. Second of all, let's switch this to the chain form. And we'll see what happens. Yo. Now give me those sweet, sweet beam payouts out of chance bullets. I wanna see this chain come out of the membrane and just like hurt everything on the screen. blank. I'll take it. Ah! There we go. People are hoping Bethesda doesn't touch another Elder Scrolls game again. I... I haven't played too many Elder Scrolls games. I've played Oblivion, and I played Skyrim. And I was very annoyed by the leveling up system in Oblivion, because it was stupid. <laughs> it focused far too much, I think, on having the player, like, micromanage their own levels. Yes! I much prefer the Skyrim system, even though I know the Skyrim system isn't perfect. Better than freaking Oblivion, though. Wonder what I want? I want uh, Interplay back. I want Interplay to work on the next Fallout game. I want uh, the studio who did Fallout 3 New Vegas to work on the next Fallout game, not the ones who did Fallout 4. Did Bethesda? No, Bethesda didn't do Fallout 4. Who did, who did Fallout 4? And who did Fallout 3? New Vegas? Because those were different, I think. That was a nasty hit. Yo! It's the Mimic Gun! You stupid chests! <laughs> Look at this gun! Look at it, it's so cute! This is the wrong way to go. Aw, oh, everyone wanted that uh, Luxon Cannon. Is it actually firing Luxon Cannon shots? I think it did. That's, that's cool. Oh, you know, because I, I have both guns in my inventory. That's how it works. Are these shots home in? Maybe not. No, they don't. I thought for a minute they would, because it looked like they did. <laughs> All right, I don't know how we got rid of Mimic Gun, but we did. No, not my Mimic Gun, no! Ooh, it's so good. I don't even know where he is. Your friends died too quickly. There's a Skyrim exploit to get 100 sneak. It's not really an exploit, it's uh, you just sneak around for a little while in a cave with a bear and it just gets up to 100, right? But maybe you're, you're talking about like a specific exploit where it just goes from like a zero to 100 instantly. All I know is that they made it harder to get to maximum smithing skill. You can't just farm the creation of <laughs> daggers over and over again, which was unfortunate. But. But yeah. I just, I just hate, I hated the uh, level up system in Oblivion. The fact that like, a level one enemy could kick your ass if you didn't level up perfectly was just really annoying.
It, it was weird because you kind of had to like plan out your day in that game. It's like, okay, today I'm going to be focusing entirely on jumping to get the athletic skill upgraded. <laughs> today we're going to be doing a lot of sneaking. Why keep exploring? Just go fight the boss. <clears throat> Fallout, Fallout 4 was Bethesda, New Vegas was Obsidian. Well, there you go. <laughs> I guess in that case, I totally agree. What they need to do is they need to work together. They need, um... They need Bethesda to work on the gunplay, and then they need... Obsidian to work on the actual, like, script and story and plot and dialogue and characters. Because then they'd be perfect. I still don't know if the lowercase r bullets are under the effect of the synergy, giving them more damage, but beep, 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 beep. You've only ever seen Mimic Gun once in 500 hours. That's, I think that's the first time I've gotten it on this save file. No, maybe it's the second time. I can't remember. I don't remember. Bethesda, do you mean Bug Bethesda? Got a wise guy over here. You think this is the second time? All right, I will. Uh, I will uh, trust you. Dude, I love getting the chain beam out of the uh, chance bullets. Cause here's the thing: when it comes out of chance bullets, I feel like I just got lucky, and not that I'm, you know, cheesing the game by using an extremely overpowered item. You know, the game gave me the 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 bullet on this pull of the trigger. It wasn't me. It wasn't me at all. Jesus. Oh! That also looks pretty cool. Whoops. All right, bees. <laughs> Really glad we didn't have any bees come out on an earlier room with like red mages because I completely forgot about that item. There we go. Hey, good run. Chance bullets is a it's a pretty good item, especially when you have a good beam weapon. I don't know why, but it feels like it feels like the beams occur more frequently than the bullets, and I and I don't know why that is. Maybe it's just that the beams are more noticeable, you know, maybe if you get a projectile out of a, you know, a bad shotgun, it's a little tiny bullet and it's hidden by all the other bullets in the screen and you don't notice it. Or, maybe, you know, when the game creates a random projectile it says 50-50 chance, beam or bullet, and since you usually have fewer beam guns, you kind of notice it more because you get more beams of an individual type, you know, I have... 10 guns, one beam, or like 10 bullet guns, one beam gun, I'm gonna get the the one beam 10 times and every bullet from each of the other 10 guns on average once. So maybe it just kind of uh, evens out that way a little bit, but that's how the, the probabilities lie. I don't know. But it definitely feels like you get more beams out of chance bullets than bullets. Which, when you have a good beam like this, or the lava gun, or... Uh, Disintegrator. Usually you're happy with it. In any case, good run. For those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs. And I hope to see you again for the next run of Enter the Gungeon.